What is that, Ken? I believe it's a 56 Chevy. It is a 56, part of the Tri-5 right there in a beautiful color. You know what's the best thing about this, this car? The fact that he drove it in the rain. No, the fact that it's parked right in front of Donut Derelicts. Thank you very much. There you go. And speaking of Donut Derelicts. Yes. Ken has reserved two Tiger Tails. I have no idea what that is, but um, supposedly it's their claim to fame. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. They're probably ready. So you've had ready. them before, many I, times. I've looked at them and touched them, but I've never actually eaten one. You, okay, wait, let me clarify. So you've looked at tiger tails and touched ones that other people have probably eaten. Probably. <laughs> More information that I really want to know, but <laughs> you're not touching mine though, buddy. We catch a tiger by the tail. <laughs> Hey, look, it's my car. What's that doing here? Okay, hold on. Purple. Really? Smoking. Smoking. <laughs> Inside this car right here is a one of Ken's favorite options. That not many of these cars actually came with this option. It is the creepy paper mache lady option. Paper mache, what is that? <laughs> A creepy lady inside. Don't go down too low. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go down too low because it gets a little creepier a little down there. down there. <laughs> <laughs> Six donuts? Six donuts. There's six donuts inside one of those. And you've had several. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look, he's like a chopstick master. You're great with those sticks, man. Play drums? Yes. Oh my god. These are gonna come out of here shortly, then they're gonna get glazed, and then they're gonna go right in here. What inspired the Tiger Tails? Because I've been told by this young man over here that that is like your signature. It is. Everybody name. loves the Tiger Tail, but you know what? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what started it? I don't have an answer. No, I've been doing this for, you know, 25 years. How long have you had the Tiger Tails? Prior to that, it was my husband. We've had them for 45 years. Oh my God. So it must have been my father in law yeah. that, that invented that. People really like them, and they also like the, the six sized. Donut. Yes. Kind of like Ken's t shirts. Oh, yes. Can, can you hurry? They still look really hot. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> All right, we gotta go eat. All right, All right thank you, you very much. Yes. Okay. okay, I have the tiger by the tail. Did you already eat yours? Yeah. We barely even got outside, but he's already done. No, I didn't. Want some chocolate milk? Watch that. Oh, down. man. Holy cow. That is probably the best donut I think I've ever had. Oh my god. See? Nice tail. I might just have to have another one of these. Let's turn it around. It's like brand new again. <laughs> Donut derelicts, which you can tell right based on the sign right there. Yeah, uh, this is Dominic. He has a, a quite an interesting car. Not something you would expect to see at a show like this. Datsun 620. Um, what inspired me to get it is my dad's first car. He's, you know, same old pickup. But it's a kind of a family thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm in school. I, yeah, I go to school. I'm a full-time student. Okay. Is this the ideal car for a student? Oh, not really, man. Just say yes. It's kinda, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. It's a motor right now. It's a stock uh, two-liter. 
L series. Is, is there anything you'd want to do to the motor? Yeah, I have uh, some dual carburetors that I can, just, I can just slap on. Hopefully in the summer when I get a job. Yeah, right. That's right. That's the addiction, unfortunately. Right, right. That and the donuts. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. So what's up with the with the uh, England weather going on here? This is Southern California. We're we're going into spring and summer, and it's uh, it's misty. God is crying right now because there's not enough cars at the donut shop. Feels good though. Once again, we're still at Donut Derelicts. This is Bryce. Uh, you have you have the love wagon, man. Yeah. <laughs> this what year is this? 67. 67 Belvedere, and it's got a you know it's got a slightly different motor. Yeah, LQ9 block, LS1, 6.1 liter. Okay, and what did it have originally? Uh, 318 with a three-speed. Okay, so now that you stuck the LS1 in, what kind of horsepower are you talking about? Four to 415 to the rear wheels. Okay. What's the funnest thing you've done in this? Just cruising down PCH, man. Top bands endless. Have so. you filled it full of women yet? Or anything no, like not yet. Just okay. my pops. Your, your, your brother's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your dad's. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be careful. With your dad. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't done anything yet. He's, you know, he's been very good. Dad, he's, he's been very responsible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No way. No way. Just, I'm gonna end up actually turboing it. And oh hopefully yeah. Run it on the street a little bit longer. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna cage it or anything. It's just gonna be a nice little daily driver. Yeah, it's kind of a cage anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A These things. Full frame car. So. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Well, good job. Man. Thank you. Great way to go. All right. Nice to meet you. The sun is finally coming up. We're, yeah. we're happy about that because the cars always look better. Uh, this is Bill. He's got a, a rather large 63 Lincoln. Rather large. Rather large. What What is it? Because these these cars I'm very passionate about. You know, what is it you think about about these this particular period of time with the Lincolns that attracts people so much? Well, it's a very um, individual kind of a, tech, a car. You know, and the people that bought these when they were new. Um, you know, we're looking to buy a better car, basically, yeah. than and something different than what other people had. Yeah, they, I mean, they were the epitome of luxury back then. Well, they were, and um, Ford came out with a um, a new program where every one of these cars was actually driven by a um, um, a Ford technician, I believe, for a hundred miles. Uh, and, and until they that said, explains the first hundred miles on the yeah <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you could never get one with less than that. And they right. did, they did that to uh, ensure that everything was working the way it was supposed to work on yeah, the car. Yeah. And if it wasn't right, they put it back through the line and right, stuff. Right. But uh, most of this car was hand built, and um, um, they had a really bad reputation a few years earlier. You, how long have you had this? Um, I've had the car for about four years now. Yeah. You know, any price you pay below ten grand for a car like this is a steal. Mm -hmm. Because I, that's what I it's think. a it's a piece of jewelry. It's an incredible yeah. machine. It, it's the finest. I've got a lot of. Cars. And yeah. It's the finest riding car I've ever driven. Oh yeah! It, it is amazing. You just get in and sit there. It's, it's a cloud. It's like the car takes you there. You don't have to do anything but just sit in it. It's the uh, old school autonomous cars. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's take a look. This was the original party car, Ken. piece of history along with the car. Yeah. <laughs> We are done with Donut Derelicts and we're going to head over to the Huntington Beach Pier because supposedly there is another show over here full of something else. All right, we're on uh, Main Street in Huntington Beach and there's not a lot of cars uh, as far as the car show goes just yet. They're, most of them are down, way down there. So it's uh, quality, not quantity. It's <laughs> look at that Brits. What is it? Brits. Oh yeah. Well, there's a couple of nice ones. Yeah, yeah that's cool.
we're done uh, looking at the cars. Look at the surfing. What car stood out for you as being the most interesting? Hmm. Well, my favorite. For me, it was that wagon with the LS1. Oh, you guys, cool. uh, yeah. great job on that car. Yeah. Look at that 57 Barretts. The that was nice. Top. Yeah. Suicide doors. Yeah, that was nice. That was a beauty. What do you say goodbye to Ken. Goodbye, Ken. Bye, Ken. Awesome time in the sun today. Lots of different things that we did. The donuts. Let's talk about the donuts for a second because Donut Derelix has been around for 45 years. Uh, amazing. Louise, you know, thank you so much uh, for having us as a little guest in the back, showing how those little creations get done. Some of them not little creations. What? And I'm so grateful because she gave me a t shirt. This is really cool. It's got a really cool thing on the back. Let's check that out. And it says it on the, on the front. Wait, hold on a second. See, look at that logo, isn't that awesome? Very nice. But I just wanna wrap the vlog up here with this one thing. One thing we, we didn't show, we didn't mention is that on our drive to Donut Derelicts from where we met, we came upon an accident. Uh, two cars had collided in this intersection and it was very dark, um, a, an, uh, an older couple and a younger guy and uh, it was really hard. It was really difficult on those people at the time. Once again, to my surprise, nobody stopped. Nobody stopped to help these people. Uh, Ken and I decided to stop and we got out and got the people out of the cars uh, until the cops got there and, and took care of things. But what I wanted to say is big thanks to my friend Ken. Um, an extraordinary individual. Uh, a The type of person that anyone would be, uh, would be lucky to have in their life. Ken is the kind of guy that is um, so clear on the idea of service and giving that uh, uh, such a big heart, such a tremendous individual that that he will pull the trigger on anything, uh, anything that helps people. And I don't get a chance to say thank you all that much uh, because you know you're in the throes of things and you get a chance to think about stuff. But I was back here at the pad talking to Kathy and telling her kind of what happened, and it it occurred to me uh, that I needed to express some gratitude. So Ken, thank you so much for hanging out with me and doing this stuff, and uh, and you really you really pulled the trigger today in helping those people out, and it made a big difference. And I've I've been uh, the unfortunate and the fortunate bearer of having been. Uh, um, having experienced accidents that have not been small. Um, some of them have been uh, pretty pretty tough for me, and I'm pretty tough when it comes to that kind of stuff, but uh, you see things that you don't forget, and, and you hope that you don't come across those things. Drive safe, you know, if, when it gets out there and it gets to, to be raining, different things like that, to, you know, you just want to be able to get home or get to where you're going and have a good life, and that's, that's all we want for everybody. That's it for today's vlog. Uh, thanks again, Louise, for my awesome shirt. Uh, thank you, Ken. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, join us on Instagram, Facebook, all those different places because we're having so much fun with the, you know all the different things that we do. And once again, as a reminder, the reason that we do this vlog is to show you guys that you can do what you love. You got to get out there. You got to take the first step. You got to start the dynamo. Go, 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 go. Get that thing going. So when you, you start and you put that energy out into the things that you love, amazing things happen. Incredible things happen. Happened. Look what happened! Right here! Doing a door, that's right there!